Welcome back to the High Seat Area Report. My special guest today is Kenny Kurtzweiler, candidate for the El Dorado County District 5 seat. So let's get right to it. Kenny, what do you see as the three biggest issues that the El Dorado County supervisor position has to deal with going forward? There's a lot more issues in three, but the main focus, uh, the main issue that I see personally is the divide between the city of South Lake Tahoe and the county of El Dorado. A lot of people perceive that there is a large wall between, and there is a granite wall, you know, don't get me wrong, it's Echo Summit, between the West Slope and up here. But I think the bigger divide is between the city of South Lake Tahoe and the district supervisor position. So how do you start to break the divide down? You know, working together in communication. Let's get together on everything that's going on. You know, we've got a lot of people in town that are want to build out the area 105% up here. We've got a, a youthful group and we've got a, a, a younger generation that, that is coming in that is just like we were, you know, 30 years ago and we, they've got that drive and they're down here. We need to get to here. We know we need to market this town. We know we need to, to build and, mm -hmm. and get the economy going. How do we get there? We need to work together in communication. I totally agree. Um, so one of the responsibilities of supervisors sit on uh, TRPA board. Um, what would you bring to the TRPA board that, that you think we really need to have there to represent the will of the people? I would bring an openness to the TRPA board. And in openness, I mean, you know, a lot of people, the perception in this town is probably a lot greater wall than anything in any other town anywhere, whether it comes to politics or opening a new restaurant or, or anything in this town. The perception is, is that the TRPA is running over us. You know, I don't believe that's true. Uh, I, I do believe that we need the TRPA. I was around when it was a CTRPA, when mm -hmm. Father Grace used to pull the ping pong balls in the lottery system. And, you know, I, I think the TRPA has just gotten out of their original mandate. They need to get out of the construction business, back in the environmental business, and I hope to get them there. Okay. Now, you, unfortunately, this is a race, and you're going yes. against Sue Novacell. And so, for people need to make a choice. So what do you bring to the party, so to speak, that, distinguish, that differentiates you from, from Sue? What would be three things that people should know about you that will be different than her? You know, this is, this is a small town, and Sue and I have both been up here a long time, and, and I like Sue, and I know Sue likes me, and we've, we've done a lot of things together. And I just hope that everybody gets together and doesn't vote on personality, uh, or they, they don't on, well, I've known this person for 30 years, 35 years, 37 years, however long it is. I hope they look at the issues and they look at what we've done in the past, what we could do in the future, and make an informed decision on who to choose. Because i got to tell you, either one of us would be very good in the position of district supervisor. Yeah, but it is a race, and people it do, is need, a race. They do need to know why choose you. So, so, if, so if talk people want to wanna find out about choosing me, they can call me, 530-308-5265. They can come over to my house, 2189 Blitzen Road. In fact, we're having a get-together on Sunday, the 27th at 2 o'clock. It's a barbecue, and thank you to the town for putting me in the November okay. election. And I'm having a barbecue also, and it's a fundraiser. So I guess what you're saying is rather than state what the difference is, you want them to come talk to you. Yes. I, I, you know, the anonymity thing is what really hurts this town also. Okay. When someone puts out something and they don't want to put their name to it, I, I have to respect that. I spent 21 years in the military to give you the right to have the freedom of speech that you have. But when someone hides behind a computer, I do not agree with that. Okay. And I would rather talk to them face to face and we'll find out what the situation is. Thanks for coming in. Good luck sure. in the race and we'll see you again. Thank you. We'll be right back after the following. Stay with us.